When your four-wheel drive gets stuck in a heavily wooded area, you've usually got no problems when you've got a winch hanging off the front of your car because you can simply hook up to that tree and whip yourself out of trouble. But what do you do when you're on a remote beach like this one? Let's say you didn't come with any mates to snatch you out and you find yourself stuck, what do you then winch off? There is simply no anchor points around here. All we've got is soft sand under our feet. So, what do we do? Well, you need to fashion yourself some sort of ground anchor that you can actually secure your winch hook to to pull your four-wheel drive out of trouble. In this occasion, we're gonna use the spare tire of the four-wheel drive to get us out of trouble. Let me show you how this works. Now, obviously we just need to make sure that we're in a directly straight line to the Amarok. Now, the handy thing about the Amarok is that the spare tire is actually a steel rim. It's advisable to use a steel rim because an alloy rim is actually going to bend uh, potentially under the weight of the vehicle. So that's why we're using the steel rim. Now, we're gonna dig a hole that is one and a half times the diameter of this entire wheel and tire assembly. So I've got some digging to do. Okay, so that should just about do it. Now, what I have done with this hole is I've done it at a little bit of an angle. And the reason for that is because that just provides that little bit more resistance. What we're trying to do is make sure that that tire doesn't wriggle up and out of the ground. So we're after maximum resistance so it stays down there, gets wedged by the weight of the four wheel drive dragging against it. Now I'm gonna grab the tree trunk protector and we're gonna thread that through the wheel. It should be just long enough to pop us out of the hole. Now we're gonna do this first before we dig our trench for the strap. Partly because when we actually start digging that trench, that's gonna naturally fill in the main hole. So this is obviously the flatter side as opposed to the dished out side. So we really want this flat side to be facing the vehicle itself because that provides more resistance. Now we're just gonna thread our tree trunk protector through this one. If we can just get it through here, these ARB straps are nice and thick and they've got these protective sleeves on them. But once that's through, that'll be fine. And then when we've got about halfway, we'll wrap that underneath the tire, making sure that there are no twists or turns. Now, we get to drop him in the hole. Now we'll just hoist that strap aside there and we've got to dig a trench now for the strap and the winch rope to actually come out and meet this here. So again, just looking at your vehicle, lining it up, making sure it's all straight. That looks pretty good to me. Now it's just time to grab our winch cable and hook up before we fill everything in again. That should do it now. You can sort of stomp it down a little bit, that could help. So uh, now we'll simply tension up our cable, but before we do that, we need to throw on our cable dampener, just in case anything comes adrift. The cable dampener ensures that if anything does break in that recovery, rather than springing up in the air and damaging somebody, it's gonna stay closer to the ground. Now I'll jump in the car, turn it on, that ensures that the battery's charged while ever we're winching and we'll see how we go. There we go. 
When you're using a ground anchor, it's a good idea to just consider that you're not tying off something like a giant gum tree. So to give it a little bit of a hand, it's a nice idea just to idle forwards a little bit and that just takes the pressure off everything. The anchor point, the cables, the winch, the works. But we've got this one out, no sweat. Now I'm going to do a bit of a cheat. Rather than digging this tyre out, I'm actually going to drive up a little bit closer to it and try and pull the anchor point out with the winch. Saves a bit of digging. 